people in the back. Happy New Year, everybody. It is your friend, Cheap Ludes. Welcome back. A new year, a fresh start, as it were. Right? Definitely a fresh start. Definitely nothing will be the same as it was just a mere day ago. I am so tired of people telling me, Oh, last time I saw you was last year. Uh, I hate it. Just shut up, please. Now let's look forward. Let's gaze into the crystal ball of NBA 2K23, my team, and see what we can see coming this week. Now this week's going to be super interesting. The reason I say that is because we've kind of had a predetermined uh, set of things to expect every single week leading up to this. But now 2K is back in the office again, or at least should be uh, this week. So that's a good thing because now we get to see what they're going to do and what they're going to cook up. So no more daily players, unfortunately, which is a huge L. This was a massive W of, a, of a, an event, I guess you could say. This was huge. Every single one of these cards are fun to use. They're different. I like this so much. And if they were to do this every single season, I would really have nothing to complain about from this point forward. But by the way, I'm not just gassing these cards for no reason. Like Jaron Jackson Jr. is one of the better uh, bigs that you can get easily. Like for a no money spent team, he's fantastic. Uh, Michael Red's okay. He's not really the greatest. Glenn Rice is actually surprisingly okay. He's got really good defensive tendencies. Stockton's about the most annoying point guard you could possibly play against. Bradley Beal is very good. And for some reason, near unstoppable attacking the rim. Mike Miller's awesome. Aguirre and Kirstie are just mad, but they're good. DeAndre Aiden's like the best amethyst center or like one of them. Uh, Michael Cooper's good. Wendell Carter, top tier. Ruby Big Man, like these are good. And Bama DeBio is solid as well. So we'll start with Monday. What can we expect from tomorrow? To be honest, I think we're going to see something moments related tomorrow. I really do. I'm not sure what exactly that's going to entail, and I'm probably wrong about this, by the way. I didn't realize that these were still active. I could have gotten Zubak and Royce O'Neal. I had no idea, and Keldon Johnson, but it is what it is. I would assume that we'll see something moments related, whether that be XP challenges or a player. Um, I mean, if we were to see it, I would assume it would be Luka. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm not sure if 2K is back in the office, so this might be something we see later in the week, like a Thursday type of beat, but I'm not sure. I'm going to look back, because if we are going to see a moments card, it's going to be someone who performed like a little while ago. Um, Tyrese Halliburton would be a very good pick. If they're not going to go outright with Luka Doncic, we could see someone like CJ McCollum, who set the record for threes. Um, we could also see like Halliburton... McCollum would make a lot of sense. I actually wouldn't be shocked to see him. Or like Emmanuel Quickly, someone of that nature. Like I said, I could be super wrong about this. There could be nothing at all. Or it could just be another set of like XP challenges or for trophy case stuff. That's very possible as well, but we will uh, we will have to see if we get anything tomorrow. Also wouldn't be shocked at all. Um, no, they'll probably do Super Packs on Tuesday, but I wouldn't be shocked to see Super Packs at this point either. Tuesday. We're getting a new takeover player. I don't know who that's going to be. Mo By the way, Monday, I just don't think we see anything. They're coming fresh off vacation. Like, I don't think they're in the office today, so it's unlikely they have anything planned for tomorrow. But if they do, it's probably a moments player or a series of moments agendas. Tuesday, we get a new takeover player. I have no idea who that's going to be. Tom Gugliotta was sick. I mean, we've gotten Dwayne Wade, Tom Gugliotta, Sharif Abdul-Rahim. I didn't end up getting Ray for Alston. So, whatever, it doesn't really matter. But it's going to be someone in that, that same vein. Like, it'll be a 94 overall. I don't really know who it is. Uh, looking through, like, a host of players. I would have said Harrison Barnes, but we just got Harrison Barnes. So I actually don't know who it's going to be. Um, you know what? Let's take a look. I'm thinking it's going to be an old player. That's, that's my theory, is it's going to be someone super old. So let's see. Let's just go and we'll type in G. Uh, Gail Goodrich. Let's go with Gail Goodrich. He sounds like a Tuesday player. So we'll we'll go ahead and do Gail Goodrich. Why not? Or like Joff Petri or someone of that nature, or like McGinnis or something. Like that actually makes a lot of sense. Or Mikan. Someone with a G name from a, a long time ago in a land far, far away. That's going to be the takeover player. We're also going to get some sort of super pack. 
Um, whether it contains Evos or not is going to be, I don't know, up in the air, I suppose. It'd be nice to see them do Evos again, but I don't really have any faith after last week that we will be seeing any Evos, so it just kind of depends. I don't know. If you think we're going to get Evos, cool. I would like to see some players get Evos, like Marcus Smart. I'm sure a lot of people would like to see get an Evo. Andre Karolinko, Theo Ratliff, just kind of random guys like that. Franz Wagner already got one, so... Ubre, like Duncan Robinson, guys like that would be, it'd be cool to see them get an Evo. Simbu Bar, <laughs> that'd be horrible to be honest. I would hate that. But like Ray Flip Friends, just guys like that would be cool. Mm. Wednesday, I think they do give us another set of moments challenges. What they're for, I'm not mm. sure. They could combine the concepts and maybe actually put a player at the end, like maybe a Galaxy Opal Luca or something. I don't know seems unlikely but it's possible but regardless we are for sure going to get a moments challenge at least in my opinion on wednesday which is it's cool i, I like i never do them for the most part i mean I, would, I should probably do them for the hoff badge but it just seems like a lot of work and i don't really feel like doing it but i just don't want to have to do things like get six blocks with a Burke lopez that doesn't sound like a fun you know thing to me so that's why i haven't done them that being said I would be very shocked if we didn't get any moment stuff on Wednesday. That's going to be really the only thing we get on Wednesday, unless they're going to do like a moments player as well, which I find probably very unlikely. Now, Thursday, I think that's when we see a moments player. I think that's the best time to see a moments player for us. Just because if you look, the moments cards end on Friday. So I would expect to see some sort of moments card on either Thursday or Friday. Other than that, we're not going to see anything. So I wouldn't get too hyped up for Thursday. Now, Friday is going to be very interesting. This is the first week, at least in the last four weeks, that we don't know what set we're getting on Friday. So it could reasonably be anything. Now, we are going to see our Beyond Level 40 Step 4, which means we'll finally see Sean Kemp, who will probably get put on the database Wednesday or Thursday, I would assume. So we'll see kind of like what we need to do for that step, and then we'll be able to get Sean Kemp, which is huge, because Kemp's going to be a monster for sure. Diamond Kemp was a monster, so I would assume this Kemp's going to be a beast as well. Friday's set, I don't know what they're going to do. I really don't, because we got the fire and ice, so we got the two themed ones, you know, the whatever, the season-themed ones. And then Zen, I guess, was a season-themed one as well. And then we got to holiday ones, so I'm not really sure. I would assume that it's going to be some sort of, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say Inferno-like set, like a, a bigger set like that. I assume it's probably going to be nine players. But looking at what we got at this time last year, just from like a power scaling perspective, uh, the first set that we got after New Year's Resolution was the Iced Out 2 set. So... I would expect to see something similar to this, like from a content perspective, because we got like Bosch, Bradley Beal, Dissinger was really good. But other than that, the names were kind of underwhelming. So I would expect to see kind of an underwhelming named set as well. Um, I don't think they're going to after gouging us out on Tis the Season and then Fireworks. I don't think we're going to see something super crazy from a set perspective. I don't really know what players that they have left to really give us that are big name players that they can reasonably put out without destroying power balancing or destroying the value of the super packs that they're going to be selling us at the end of the season. So I'm not really sure. Truly, I mean, just thinking, an Opal Ja Morant would make a lot of sense, though. Like, Ja sells packs. So Ja Morant would make a lot of sense. We got our MJ. I would assume it's going to be a rehash player. Like, we could see another Zion... Uh, we could see... No, none of these guys. John Morant might actually make sense. We could see another Dwayne Wade. We could see a lot of different guys. Kawhi, actually. I'm going to say Kawhi. Kawhi makes a lot of sense. Doing an Opal Kawhi that can play shooting guard? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. For sure. Shout out to the chat as well. Shout out to Jump Shoot. Um, and Cameron... You guys are both saying this, but uh, moments of the month is a possibility as well. 
we could see a December moments of the month. I actually think that's a, a pretty solid likelihood as well, especially because all these moments cards that are available right now, they end on Friday. So it's possible we don't see any moments for the entirety of the week and we see them all Friday with an underwhelming set to accompany them because they did do this immediately after uh, the holidays last year. That's exactly what they did. They gave us an underwhelming set and then they gave us moments of the month. So it's very possible that that happens which i think that would be huge obviously opal luca would be the reward but that would allow them to give all of the nba top performers cards you know guys like quickly guys like mccollum um julius randall let's see who else was out here <laughs> alec burks shout out to alec burks was out here hooping for a little bit um pretty much all these guys they could give them cards relatively easy nurkic who they love giving nurkic cards I would love to see a moments of the month and then throwback moments of the week. That would be my ideal world that we live in. That would be perfect. I know that's a lot of content to give out for free, but that would be the perfect ideal world for me. But I don't know. Let me know what you think is coming this week down in the comments below. As always, this has been your friend Chief Lids. I hope your year is 